Okay, when you want to conduct a content analysis, you need a set of criteria to actually look at your qualitative data. In this case, we're going to look at written qualitative research. And the first thing you need to do is really understand the context of a situation. So let's go by example. In this case, we're looking at a question that was posted on ResearchGate and the question is why is it so easy to cultivate and support myths and false models in education and then there's a description in there and you would read that description. Then you would have to understand what's the purpose and the purpose of this content analysis is to develop an understanding of what is a quality post in an academic discussion. So that's our goal, so we understand our goal, and then we might brainstorm criteria and come up with criteria and take a look at posts and sort of figure out what's a good post, what is an effective post. So then we would create a spreadsheet, all right? And before you do anything in the spreadsheet, you want to be able to format it correctly because these are long posts here and so I'm going to click in the middle here uh, you see the A, B, C and the 1, 2 and, and so the, the intersection there I'm going to right click on that and then so that means I've selected all the cells and then I'm just going to bring this in here show you that I what I want to do is make sure that everything is top aligned and I want text wrapping and that way the text is nicely in one cell here. All right, so I'm setting up a little spreadsheet. What I've done is copied a post in here. Uh, step one, and then I've given it an ID, so that ID is number one. Uh, participant one has posted this. All right, I'm gonna take a look at that, and then what I'm gonna do, and I'll move this over here, is, is set up some criteria to evaluate the post. So I've just chosen for this example the length of the post, uh, connect whether the person is connecting with other messages, the uh, quality of the post, in that case I'm referring to the quality of writing, the criteria um, for whether it's focused, and criteria five whether it's evidence-based. What I've done, and I'll just show you, is here for criteria one I've said one is a very short message and five is a very long message. So I'm analyzing this, all right? And so here I am going to add a comment here and connect. So one is uh, no connection to other uh, messages and to um, bracket five is connect to multiple messages, okay? And so there, each one of these reminds me of the criteria when I rate it. So I've right clicked and added my criteria for each of these, and perhaps I've written on a piece of paper what they mean. Uh, in terms of, so connect might be connect to one other message, or sorry, no connection to any other message, connection to one, two, multiple messages. Depends. Maybe I don't want to range from one to five in terms of my rating. But uh, so here we go. I'm developing my rating system. So I'm going to look at length here. And maybe I've already established uh, that this is a four in a long message. All right. But it's a good idea for me to right click and then insert a comment uh, explaining why, because the explanations are important. So here. My reasoning, I put it up here, oh, let me just show you, uh, is it's much longer than most messages. Two paragraphs is the max. It's not a clear theme. It's too much verbiage. And I might even give them some examples. Uh, so I want to have criteria here. I might even do a word count. Uh, that's possible. But I'm going to assess this posting and the quality based on my criteria. So here's the connection criteria. And so I might look at this. Uh, as mentioned, he's connecting to the question me, uh, Robin, 
uh, but nobody else. So perhaps uh, it's not a connection to no one. Um, it's just connection to the author. So it's a connection of one. In terms of quality, I might language quality. We're going to say you know low writing quality to high writing quality. Um, so I might say, oh, this is a reasonable quality of writing. And then you know for each criteria, I'm going to give it a label. And then what I would do is rate all the messages and um, get a sense. And I might go back and forth saying, oh, OK, wait a second. I maybe rated this too high or this too or too low. OK, so you develop this criteria on your own and then you do your ratings. And uh, that's how you can start a content analysis. Now, I would take notes on the side or in Word always rationalizing why I made the decisions I did, because that's important. Your decision shouldn't just be a gut feel. It should be based on strict criteria.